What's up, everybody? So it's starting to look like Odell Beckham Jr. going to the New York Jets is a possibility. Um, there hasn't been anything officially out there, but I want to read something that came out yesterday regarding Odell Beckham Jr. and the New York Jets. And of course, considering the fact that Aaron Rodgers will likely be their starting quarterback once the Jets you know, decide to pony up and give the Packers what they deserve. <laughs> um, we're going to see Aaron Rodgers on that Jets team with Alan Lazar, with Garrett Wilson, who they also now have McCole Hardman, traded away Elijah Moore. But now it looks like there is a chance that OBJ could be joining them um, in New York, which would make for a pretty lethal um, offensive unit there, especially if OBJ can get back to his prior self, you know, have, after having missed the past year with the ACL injury, now having, you know, the same injury in the same knee to ACL tears, I'm pretty sure. Um, hopefully he can get back to his former self. But I want to read this from a CBS Sports article. Here it is. This week, SNY reported that New York's interest in free agent wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. is very real. This makes sense as CBS Sports NFL insider Josina Anderson reported earlier this offseason that the Jets consulted with Rodgers on their plans for free agency and OBJ's name was brought up as a target. Thursday, ESPN reported that the Jets and Beckham would both like a signing to happen. And then here we have... We should very much consider Odell Beckham Jr. still on the table as an option for the New York Jets, ESPN's Jeff Darlington said. In fact, we can go even further to say that both sides would still like to see this done. Financials still in the way of actually finalizing this thing, but I still think that Odell Beckham Jr. will win, will wind up with the New York Jets. So it looks like both sides, seemingly, reportedly, from this report, would like a signing to happen. The issue is the financials, which I feel like is probably the issue with any um, potential deal getting done between any player in a franchise. Because if, if some team came in and said, hey, Odell will pay you $35 million a year, he'd probably be like, okay, I'm signing with you. And so that the fact that the financials are still in the way could point to the fact that this may not be that close to happening. We don't know the specifics of the contract discussions, You know what the Jets are wanting to pay Odell what Odell exactly is wanting from them. Um, who knows exactly the conversations going on behind closed doors. And oftentimes, you know, as fans, we, we don't we don't know for sure. And so the fact that the financials are still in the way could mean that there's no way this is going to happen if the Jets don't, you know, aren't willing to pony up for whatever Odell wants. But at the same time, maybe they can come to some kind of agreement because if um, the Jets believe Rodgers will be there, which I would assume that Odell would like to know if that's actually getting done before he were to officially sign, I think that it could be, I mean, for Odell, it would be a very nice opportunity um, to come in there, pair up with Rodgers. It seems like in the past, uh, you know, in the past couple seasons, there was one or two, or maybe it was just one or two times where it seemed like the Packers were interested in Odell. And I think the first time two years ago, it was between the Rams and the Packers. And it seemed like maybe Rodgers would finally get to pair up with Odell. Reportedly, you know, they've, um, you know, have some kind of relationship. And so that didn't happen, of course. The Rams come in, sign Odell. But now it looks like this could happen. They they seem like if they, if they can get the financials situated, a signing could happen, but that could be a big thing. We don't know exactly how close they are. Um, but I think now when you look at, you know, Rodgers, the discussion over the years in Green Bay was the Packers aren't giving him enough weapons. I think that um, at times I, I personally, as a Packers fan, would have enjoyed and would have uh, hoped that the Packers would have been a little bit more aggressive, especially when it came to the trade deadline, you know, trying to go and get a guy like Odell two years ago. Um, could have definitely helped us in the playoffs, you know, when we lost to the 49ers in that one, um, where the Packers' offense just absolutely did nothing in that game. Maybe having Odell would have helped. And so, I have been one who was, I was hoping for those kind of moves at the trade deadline. Brian Gutekind's never really wanted to pony up and do that. Um, you know, last year, we, we did make some wide receiver moves. They were just for rookies and Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, who I do think could be, you know, a, a very dynamic duo as the years go by and they develop. And obviously, if Jordan Love can play great, then those guys, I think, can be a solid foundation for the Packers offense. But the Packers were never super, super aggressive when it came to the wide receiver market. And now it looks like the Jets are sort of trying to do that for Aaron Rodgers because it looks like they want Rodgers. It looks like Rodgers wants to be with the Jets. But as I've reported recently on this channel, um, that right now it still seems like the Jets don't want to give up that first round pick. The Packers want the first round pick, and that seems to be where the stalemate is. And so we'll see how this ends. But the time when you know when Rodgers does get traded, because I do think it will happen eventually. Who knows when? Um, Rodgers is going to have a. I mean, right now if you look at the receivers, Garrett Wilson already a beast last year with subpar quarterback play. Alan Lazard there on the four year, forty four million dollar deal. Rodgers and him have that chemistry connection, and now McCole Hardman on that team. They did lose Elijah Moore, which does hurt. Um, but if OBJ signs here, that's a pretty, um, you know, a pretty 
I'd say diverse group of, you know, talent there at wide receiver, you know, some speedy guys, some possession receivers, and then Odell. Who knows what he can be? Because I think that's the risk right now with signing Odell is you don't know if he's going to be be the guy he used to be. He's getting up there in age. I think he's around 30, if not already 30. He's had, you know, two or is it two or three ACL surgeries. So there is a risk there that maybe he comes back and isn't that player. And maybe that's why um, they haven't, you know, made a deal because maybe OBJ thinks he's worth more because of his potential. But maybe the team doesn't want to risk too much to sign him just in case he's not the same player because of that knee. Um, because, you know, we, sometimes you see those guys come back or NFL players come back after tearing their ACL and they're just never the same again. I'm um, like, you know, Todd Gurley back in the day was was balling out. Then he gets a knee injury, doesn't play great, you know, later parts of his career. So who knows what happens here, but lots of interesting things happening with the Jets, with the Packers. And as I have been updating you guys with all Packers, Jets, trade kind of news, I'll continue to do that. So stay tuned for more content. Subscribe if you want to get updated with all news. And I'll see you guys next time.